Hey, this is a quick walkthrough of a McLaren MP44 control rig that I've made for use in Unreal Engine 5 for a university project. Um, I'm just going to do a little walkthrough of all the features of the model and sort of how I, roughly how I made it and uh, you can put any questions in the comments I guess. Um, so it's got, in Unreal Engine 5, it's got four controls. One at the front here for the uh, steering, so this controls the front two wheels. Um, you can steer it sort of with any angle you like, um, within reason, uh, with whatever's realistic for the car. Um, you've got a route control here, which allows you can, to control the uh, the ride height of the car, and you can also do some rotation, pitch and yaw, and, um, and roll and stuff like that. Uh, noting as well that the one of the features I focused on in this rig is the suspension aiming towards aiming towards uh, the mounts on the body. So you've got I've set up the skeleton in a particular way that it allows the um, the body to roll and for, for the suspension to track it as it's moving up and down, um, which I'm pretty happy with. Uh, you've also got these two wheel uh, rotation controls here, which um, allow you to change the direction and speed of the wheels as they're rolling along so you can animate that. Um, these are two separate so you can have the front wheels rolling at one speed and have the rear wheels rolling a bit faster so you can sort of animate donuts or spinning stuff like that. Um, yeah that's that feature. Uh, if I go into the control rig um, this is the the very the basic uh, skeleton layout here. Um, yeah, so you've got a main bone, uh, you've got the front left spindle, front right, uh, left rear, uh, right rear, and then this uh, root bone. Um, you've got the main bone, which is the parent to everything, and then the root bone, which uh, the body meshes are um, skinned to, and that and also has the children, which is the aim towards bones for all the different suspension components, which I'll go into in a little bit. Um, yeah, body meshes are all uh, weighted to the root bone, um, and this allows that to rotate without affecting the position of the the wheels and the spindles. Um, uh, yeah, we've got four controls. I've made my own control space for it. We've got the body control, steering control, um, and the front and rear wheel speed control. Uh, and the order that it's all that I've sort of put the executes for, I've got a sequence node here which. Um, sort of specifies which order uh, and it's quite important because if you get them in the wrong order then they'll update uh, incorrectly and it will and you might have some weird um, animations when it's actually in the scene um, so I've done the body control first uh, with an offset set, offset transform node um, steering control is all done through this um, that's the uh, the arrow one at the front there um, front wheel and speed and rear wheel speed uh, these are just separate so that you can have the donutting and sort of if you want to have some wheel spins and stuff like that you can have the wheels moving different speeds um, and I've got a separate one so that all of these are executed first so that any changes made from the controls onto the rig are executed and carried out before the suspension is before the suspension components are basically aimed at each other and put into the correct position so um, that's how that works so once all these have updated it then updates the um, wishbone. So if you've if you've moved the the wheels, it will then track the top and top and bottom wishbones into the right place instead of tracking the wishbones, moving the wheel, and then have them obviously be in the incorrect place because they've been rotated after they've been aimed at. Um, uh, so yeah, you got top wishbone, top left, top right. These ones are for the front suspension. I've sort of got a separate little area for the rear suspension. Um, that's a track rod or anti-roll bar, I'm not sure which one it actually is on an MP44, but it's one of the ones at the rear. Um, bottom wishbone, top wishbone, drive shaft. Um, yeah, I've obviously got all of them. Uh, that's how it works at the at the rear here. So you can sort of see if you move this body control, um, you can move it up and down and the suspension sort of tracks. Um, I've also got set up a... Uh, it's not showing on here I don't think. Um I've got a, a socket set up on the on the bone um which is actually on the root bone. Um I've got a socket set up and I've exported the 
body meshes in a different file as static meshes. Um, so I've set up that socket on the skeleton and I've got this root bone and windshield SM which are separate from the rest of the mesh that I've exported. So I, export, I waited and um, and binded the skin for these meshes for the wheels and everything onto their correct bones and then I export and I exported um, these meshes separately so that I could attach them to a socket. I could enable nanite for this all the body meshes and I could have a special uh, translucent um, double-sided material for the windshield because there's a it, there's a, a sticker on there for a tag hero that needs to be um, transparent and shown there. Um, so yeah, having that socket there allows me to export that mesh separately, which uh, actually ends up being quite efficient. Um, uh, and it actually allows for, I think, 90%. I think the, the rig in total, the mesh, comes to something like 166,000 um, polys, and I think 155,000 of that is just this the body panels and the windshield combined. So exporting them separately allows me to optimize it a lot um, and have Nanite enabled for over 90% of the mesh, which is pretty good. Um, it's a little bit of an optimization thing. Um, yeah, and then I exported these. This is the uh, the main skeleton. Um, yeah, exported that into Unreal. Uh, this is the control rig. That's detail outliner. If I select the wheel here, um, you can see in the outline I've got this uh, test socket um, BM. I actually couldn't I couldn't figure out why, but I wasn't able to attach the static meshes to the control rig just on their own. Um, so I actually made a, a blueprint for them, just an active blueprint. Um, stuck the windshield mesh and the body panels and the, the driver that I haven't textured yet um, into this blueprint. Um, then, I sucked, then I parented that on the scene to the socket um, and that's all working well. So that aligns up correctly with it in in the uh, in the scene. So it's all all affected and the suspension um, travels up and down. It, it works quite well. Obviously there's limitations. It, it's, and I haven't, if I, in future, if I uh, have a bit more time, I'm gonna um, get a bone for the steering wheel and rig up the driver in, to some degree and have him sort of, as the steering wheel's rotating his arms, moving the steering wheels, stuff like that, it could look quite cool. Um, but yeah, it works quite well. You can attach cameras to the socket and have onboard mounted cameras um, for different animation shots and stuff like that. So um, yeah, it works quite well. Um, any questions or anything, just leave it in the comments, I guess. Yeah, cheers.